viewers. In today's video tutorial we're going to see if your serger is stitching correctly. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. Here I've got a sample of different fabrics. So we've got a lightweight chiffon, a knit, a woven fabric and this is what you're supposed to be looking for when you've got a correctly sewn serged edged or overlock edged. So this is going to be what will be facing up so this will be upper side and this is the underside and you should be seeing nice neat flat stitching on your um, serger and if that is not the case then I'm going to show you what may be causing a problem and how to rectify it. This is a correctly serged seam and this is a badly serged seam as you can see it is all uneven and the loopers and the needle threads are not lying correctly in all different directions so I'm now going to give you some um, idea of how to correct it. What can cause problems is maybe you don't have the right weight of threads so do make sure that they are the right weight whether they're lighter or heavy for your sewing project. Another problem that could be causing irregular stitching is making sure your threads run around your tension dial correctly and that is a good tension. That one is not so it's just a case of putting that back into position and we're done. The next thing to check for is to make sure your tension dials are set correctly. Now if you're stitching are loose then it's a case of turning your dials right to tighten and left to loosen. If you've got a serger with a differential feed do check it's on the right setting for the fabric you're working with. So if you're not happy with the stitching performance of your serger overlocker then do what I've suggested um, earlier in the video and hopefully you'll be successful in producing a nicely searched or overlocked edge. There we go, we've got an example of a correctly searched edge and a badly searched edge. I hope you found that video tutorial helpful. Do remember that if you do have problems with your overlocker or surgeon not stitching correctly to do lots and lots of samples. It's best that you do samples, test samples, in order to make sure you've got the correct stitching for the correct weight of your fabric. If you have any comments or queries, please put me in the comment box below and I'll see you next time.